So that uh, is all well and good. Now what happens every time uh, there is a data refresh? Okay, so that is the work of the table manager uh, node here. So let's pop into it. So a bunch of uh, functions here, and I'm just going to discuss the key functionality. And again, you can get access to this flow um, following the instructions in the description of the video. But essentially, um, let me scroll here. So the key concept is uh, I keep a copy of the data um, in a global uh, context variable called table data. Um, Persian Designer has by default um, enabled uh, persistent file storage, so I'm just using the, the file uh, store um, to store the context variable, but that's uh, just an implementation detail. Um, the idea is that this keeps uh, the data that you're being displayed, and one can manipulate that and then send only up the appropriate updates to the table. So if it's a um, if it's a refresh element, we just send the uh, the store um, as it was um, right before the refresh event. So for example, if uh, we're starting the flows, uh, we get the last uh, data point uh, quickly up uh, to the table. If uh, there is uh, it's not a refresh event or if it's a new sample. Um, then uh, here on this line, I just uh, make everything an array. So if it's either one or many object, uh, many objects, it's it's it, they're going to be processed the same. Uh, if they have delete properties, because we want to delete the the um, that row, so uh, look for the row uh, by key, and this is a function. Uh, think of it as a as a SQL index. It's essentially a, a function that will find uh, a row in the um, in the array of rows uniquely, right? So, so this has to this has to be a, a one to one uh, can only return one row, right? So it cannot be a one to many um, function. It has to be a one to one function. Uh, so once um, once we find the index uh, of the row we want to delete, we um, uh, we uh, save the, that information, the the ID of the row, and the index in the in the data store, in an in a, um, in an array, and then after we process all the rows here, um, we send tabulator commands. In this case, delete row, and the argument has to be the row ID, uh, and we send that message for every. Uh, every row that needs to be deleted, and then we delete it from the data store. Unfortunately, tabulator doesn't have a, a one command where one can delay, delete all the rows that, uh, that need to be deleted at once. You have to do it one by one. So that's if, uh, if the or object is, is marked as uh, delete. So um, if it's not delete, if it's, a, if it's a either an, uh, an update to an existing row or a new row, then uh, this section of the code gets uh, executed. Uh, we again try to find the the um, the city if if it, to see if it's in the store. Uh, if it is, we keep the same ID that it had. And again, uh, ID the the ID column or the ID property, keeping that. Um, Keeping track of that is key to um, to not altering the uh, the part of the table we're viewing. If it's a new um, object, we just assign uh, a new ID, which in this case is just the the uh, the length of the uh, of the array, which by definition will be unique since uh, the array up until this point had one less element. Um, since the array starts from zero, then we make uh, the object that we want to uh, send to tabulator for, for the row, the row object. And here, this is just to show uh, that this is an opportunity to make any transformation. In this case, uh, as I mentioned, uh, the transformation that's being done is just uh, colorizing the temperature based on uh, the temperature ra range. If it's less than 50 degrees Fahrenheit, it's going to be color blue. Um, if it's between 50 and 80, it's going to be color green. If it's more than 80, it's going to be color red. And that goes into this display temperature 
uh, property, which is the one that, that is being shown in the column. So uh, whether it needs to be updated or is a new element, the, the row object is made. Uh, if, it's a, um, if it's an existing object, uh, the, the data store is, is updated. Um, and if not, um, we just push the new row to, to the store. And then after all the, um, all the rows have been processed, we send the update uh, or add data command, tabulator command, and we send the store there. So if there is no data, uh, no new data, sorry, um, all the rows have the same ID, right? Because we're, we're essentially finding the, the rows, keeping the same ID, and just updating the contents of that row. Uh, so there is no change. As long as you don't change the, the order of the IDs, uh, then the rows uh, are keep their same position and nothing moves on the table. Um, so that uh, is really nice because then you can, add the, as, as the information updates, uh, your position on the table or the sort order, and or the sort order uh, don't change. So this is um, a quick view of the uh, table, um, what we call the table manager functionality. Uh, there is a uh, once, uh, sorry, a piece of information that I forgot to mention is that once the, um, uh, before sending the, the data store, we resort it based on the, um, the sort order that we have um, received. And that's part of the uh, callback that um, is defined. Uh, the data sorted uh, emits a message with the um, sort order which is, which is saved in a, in a context variable, which I'll show, which is this uh, table sort um, context variable. And then um, the data is, is sorted based, uh, the data store um, data is sorted based on that criteria. Um, again, if the only thing that, um, if, it, if it has changed uh, here, you can see that the, the way to keep um, the viewport uh, constant when the data has changed, for example, if we sort by temperature, uh, we keep the, uh, we sort the data, but then we look at the um, ID order um, and then keep that same ID order. So the, the, if you look at the ID column, is that's going to stay the same everything else, uh, uh, all the other columns are going to change according to uh, to the new data that is received. But again, as long as you maintain the, the ID order, not the, the scroll bar is not going to move and the sort order is going to be maintained because we're actually, we have remember that uh, with a uh, custom uh, callback and then we use that to sort the data. So, um, and a couple of other, so let me uh, show you. So here's the, um, if, um, if we have non-empty non sorters, means that there was a, a sort event, and then we just um, save the, uh, the payload, which is uh, the sort order and the IDs after um, the data was sorted in this uh, global uh, context variable that then we use in the in table manager. Um, and here we have two nodes that um, allow us to add or delete a, a city. Um, and you just, uh, for example, uh, click, um, you click here, and uh, a pop-up will, will show up and you can say, uh, say Boston, Massachusetts, and that will get added um, to, the, uh, to the table. So um, again, that is a quick overview of, of the flow. And uh, I hope you find this uh, useful and interesting. Let me know if um, you want to see any other uh, videos about um, any other node that are, are giving you uh, notes that are giving you trouble. Um, this is very um, very powerful, but sometimes it could be a little bit confusing. Sometimes it takes a little bit of trial and error to to figure things out. But uh, 
it um I think is 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 uh, worth the trouble given the uh the cool things that you can do with um with the UI table and then the line tabulator function. Thank you. <laughs>